Come, you blessed by my Father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for, for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Margaret of Scotland wonderful in her outstanding charity towards the poor, grant that through intercession and example we may reflect upon all humanity the image of your divine goodness, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles but are not, and have discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed with the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we start reading the book of Revelation, and we hear first rather consoling words of blessed are those who read it and those who listen to it. And so that puts us in good company. This is good. But it's also then, it comes with these challenges. And we hear this at these words that the Lord is speaking to the different churches of Asia. And this one in Ephesus is significant. Because we know in Ephesus, that's the town that the Blessed Mother was residing in. This is a town where the Apostle Paul had preached for a while. John himself had been for a while. And so this is a rather holy place, a place of very devout people. It's a very strong church community. And we see that the words that the Lord says, it echoes that. They know their faith. They're able to rebuke those who are false prophets. They're following the Lord and doing good works. And the Lord commends them for that. But even so, he still is looking deep into their hearts and recognizing that they've fallen away from what he says their first love and that they need to repent and get back to that. And it's significant for us as we've been hearing throughout these parables these past few Sundays about these parables of the end times, the parables of meeting the Lord and what that is going to be like. And we see a lot of it, and that's echoed here, is the disposition of the heart and that full giving over of oneself to follow the Lord is at the center of that. And so for even for those who are doing good things, for those who are seeking to follow the Lord, there's still that place at the center of the heart where the Lord sees, where he wants us to have that being fully alive. Our heart's on fire with love for him. And that's what he calls us to. And so that can be a check for us of if we're relying a bit too much on the good works, which we know are important and necessary, but have we let our hearts grow cold in that? Have we fallen away from the reason for those good things we're doing, which is, of course, our love for the Lord? And an example of that we can look at our saint for today, St. Margaret of Scotland, who is revered and the patroness of Scotland, she was queen during kind of the middle of the medieval times and was renowned for her great benevolence and love and charity and how she was always going about seeking to do good in the community around her, founding monasteries, starting guilds for the ladies to make things for the church, and how she would rise at midnight to go to pray matins at the monastery and then afterward would then wash the feet of six poor persons and give them alms. And we see there a woman who is very much devoted towards the good of others and promoting the faith as a queen can do in her country. And one of her children became a saint, another one became queen of England and was known as the good queen Maud. And so we see how the effect of that has of benefiting the kingdom and benefiting then the broader world around us. So today we can ask her for her help, ask her to pray for us to continue to, to do the good things, those good actions of the world around us, but always looking to deepen our own sense of prayer and relationship to the Lord. We now turn to God and offer our prayers a petition that the work of the worldwide church may prosper under the spirit of truth who guides her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That local, national, and world leaders may be led by gospel values. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from addiction may be blessed with Christ's peace and with assistance in their need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a community of faith may continue to be transformed in love and faith by the sacraments of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially those we remember in this month of November and are in All Souls Day intentions, may rejoice in God's eternal light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Eileen Ryan and Lisa Mims, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
all-knowing and ever-living God, hear the prayers we place before you this day and answer them in your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity, may by the example of blessed Margaret, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, and their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Margaret, St. Gertrude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends. For those joining us on the video, our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray.
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Margaret, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May may God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.